Hey friends, how are you? Welcome back to another video. Ooh, but what is my head doing now? Welcome back to another video. As always, thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and join the JK family. I also have a membership space where the girlies indulge themselves in some private conversation and private vlogs and private things like that okay um but thank you so much for being here as always as i always say thank you for choosing me over and over again now, so now this is going to be a really really exciting video because uh -huh. mm because of that my darling anyway um as always sun in and out of the clouds we're not going to talk about that because i love using natural lighting it be like this and that it be like that sometimes um we're going to read out your unpopular opinions and now you guys know i love doing unpopular opinions you guys love unpopular opinions i love that you love unpopular opinions and we're going to do a lot more of them especially in the december time because i have a lot of time to sit and think about things and and sit on social media and think mm, i don't like mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, um, so there'll be a lot more of them um, as long as you guys enjoy them, as long as the views on the unpopular opinions are great, as long as you give the unpopular opinions a like, I am glad to do them for you all the time, all the time. But this time around, I was just like, yo, bona luna na khatet. Ligelawa. Because I have to think about all these things and then I have to check online and then go on to TikTok and be like, mm-mm. No, no, I don't agree with that. That was an unpopular opinion. You know what I'm saying? So this time around, I was just like, nah, the ball is in your court now. And I put it up on Instagram a couple of weeks ago where I was like, share with me your unpopular opinions and we can talk about them. Now, I didn't write nothing down. You guys know that with Candid with Cat, I'll always share a story or two or three of mine, depending on what the topic is. But this time around, it's all on you, baby. It's all on you, baby. So let's get started with your unpopular opinions and let's see what y'all think, okay? And so we're gonna get into these unpopular opinions, chat. Let's start from the beginning because me, I like to start at the beginning, beninging. Um, unpopular opinion, YouTubers who brush their teeth on camera while vlogging. This is the thing. No, guys, honestly. Okay, we've spoken about this on this channel before. And I'm trying to understand, Hori, why do you find it so problematic to see someone brush their teeth on camera? If you can see someone brush their teeth in an advert for Oral-B and actually watch the advert, what is the angel with someone brushing their teeth? Unless we're not how happy men. <laughs> Unless you, my darling, you, my darling, don't brush your teeth. Which one is it? What are you trying to tell us, Castaela? Because I don't see a problem with watching someone brush their teeth. Yes, don't, don't, don't sit there for five minutes brushing your teeth. But if I see you put your brush in there and you're like, mm, and then we skip to the next scene, what's the problem? What is the problem? What, what is so, and I see a lot of people actually hate this. So please explain to me, Luna Bolala. Okay, but my scarabol. Okay, please explain to me, Hori, what is it about people who brush their teeth on camera that you don't like? Um, I feel. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I feel influencers who are always sharing their luxury brand buys grew up poor. Some people just want to I want to stand up for the influencers yeah, Hang on, hang on, hang on <laughs> Come on, come on I want to stand up for the influencers here Because I feel like you're being a little bit unfair Okay, uh, you're being a little bit unfair Maybe some people just like sharing their <laughs> oh my God. I hear the chat I'll tell you why I hear the chat But maybe some people just enjoy sharing 
uh, the luxury branded goods that they get uh, and they want to show you hurry but whom i've made it i can buy myself a forty-five thousand rand bag now or a man can buy it for me or whoever didn't buy it for me okay whatever whatever don't nobody care but my thing is that some people just like to share their luxury purchases online and they should be able to want to share them you know um and i get what you're saying because a lot of the time people who grow up in wealth wealth okay i'm not talking about middle class black families uh, middle class white families whatever i'm not talking, i'm talking about buku wealth okay generational wealth they don't care about sharing things like that online you just see it and it's never um and i agree with you in the sense that it's never loud and bold like someone will buy an lv bag but it just like a little you know those who know you know they won't get the monogram shape right they'll get they'll get like just one that's just written lv there on the side you know or if they're wearing a gucci top it's not gonna be good yeah i understand it's just gonna be good you know it's just gonna be like that time when they had the campaign with the snake it's just gonna be a snake and then you're going to know that it's a gucci, a gucci top that one it's a gucci top you know and then there are people who just like branded eh? it must be loud 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 and proud um i'll give you an example when my sister got me the gucci sneaker you don't see that it's a gucci sneaker until you come up close because it's embossed and it's white on white and you barely see it's just a couple of things here and there whereas my sister also likes the difference between me and my sister is that she liked her gucci sneaker is written gucci on the side and it's just like <laughs> no ma'am no ma'am and then she got the dolce and gabbana sneaker which i love i love i'm gonna buy myself this sneaker i've decided okay i'm buying it and it's just kling, kling, a little bit it's a white sneaker and it's written kling, kling, dolce and, gabbana. and then it's got the pearl on the back and i was just like that i like you know so i so it depends people have their styles uh don't be like that <laughs> I hate chants, but don't be like that. But I hate ch <laughs> women should be more like Sonia Booth. I know that's right. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. It, boom. I know that it's a hundred and ten percent correct. Me, I, I, me, I will be like Sonia Booth. You do me dirty like the way Matthew did her. What? I will be like Sonia Booth. You are making me a Popeye on these streets. You are going out with this person. You're canoodling and cuddling and holding chava and doing this while I'm sitting at your house feeding your baby. One, two, three, four, five, nineteen hundred. I'm stressed. At this point, yes, I agree. Sometimes you need to be a petty. Sometimes you need to be. Why is the power still here? You see, only when you're South African, you'll understand how. If guess it come later, I'm like a 12. And I keep going past 12 and you still have guess which one is this one. <laughs> oh, the life we live. But yes, I definitely agree with you. I agree with you in the sense that be petty as hell. I am petty. It's just that I don't display my pettiness online. But I am petty, 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 petty. So much so that his family will know. You will know. His friends will know. I might not go and project it online. But I commend her for it. Now nah, it's just not for me to project it online. But everybody around us who knows about us, they will know. As black women, especially, we're just we're just conditioned to be strong and 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 begazella and don't put your laundry out on the street, your business out. No, if he is going to put your business out on the street by making you a Popeye, then even me, I'm going to make him a hell of a Popeye. Uh, Uncle Tim, Uncle Tim. Because it shows me that you don't care at them. You don't even want to go to discreet places. Otobaka we are called Onaki. Otobaka we are Leano restaurant. Are you mad? Are you crazy? How do you go to places that are so well known and you're a well known figure and you know, yo, way. Yeah, I get it. Uh, men who claim they want peace in a relationship actually bring a lot of toxicity. Men who actually claim that they want peace in a relationship actually bring a lot of toxicity and abuse. I am inclined to agree. I agree. Hey, hey, I don't want to fight. Yup, fighting is all they do. Mm -hmm. Look, you see? Mm.
Oh. And I just want peace of mind. I want us to be happy. I want us to be must begana sitlege gubem nandi and this and that and the other. I just want you. I want us. I want our life. I want our relationship. I want our this toxic guy. Then he gonna cheat on you. Then he's a narcissist. Then he's a this mara. On the streets, he wants to give off this thing that you, him, nishapo, come. You know, that's all he wants. He just wants someone he can love and someone who can love him. And nibe right, nibe happy, and all that hoo-ha nonsense. Okay. I agree. We have one that one. I completely agree. Uh, Lobola for some families is not about building relations but making money. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. I can't. I can't lick my hands, but you hear my chat. Do you hear it exactly? I can't do it, especially when I've got long nails. I can't do it. But I agree. And we've spoken about this on my channel, and I did it as an unpopular opinion to say that weddings and all of that is a money making a scheme. For some families you know it's not about building relations engaging being happy for your children being what 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 i can tell you for free i once said to my dad as much as marriage is not my cup of tea however please man don't come here and ask for two hundred and fifty thousand yeah for 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 my hand in marriage and whatever do you want me to be happy or do you want the whole process of my marriage to start as a nightmare because you are coming here and requesting these ridiculous, just let me go, let me be, for a decent amount, for a decent dowry, dowry, please, man. Who goes to the club here? Because <laughs> I know I don't. Who goes to the club here? Here. Who goes to the club? Okay, do you go to the club? Okay. This person says, club culture is ridiculous. Going into debt for bottles you bought on credit. Just to impress people you don't even know. I am inclined to agree. It's ridiculous. What I must do? Club culture in and of itself. And I'm saying this knowing that my sister is one of, is the face uh, one of the faces of Conquer. I don't know the face of Conquer. I don't know, but no, I I know I know she goes to this really prestige place. She works there and she parties there and all of that. And it's like, tch, 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 tch. but one thing I can tell you about my sister for free is that she gets them either for free or she buys them for herself. And when I was there, we buy for ourselves. We don't have time for this business of buying bottles on credit to impress people we don't even know. Well, for why? 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 Aye! 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 What? And then next thing, that very same establishment is going to outer you on Instagram. If you know, you know. The very same establishment is going to outer you. I'm not talking about Conga. The very same establishment is going to out you for not paying your bill at the club. <laughs> But when a Uran walked in looking all bougie, looking all Fabiani, Gucci, LV, what a what, and a good, 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 and a what a good, a good, and a, and a, you know, I don't know what people do at clubs, but you came in doing the most. Buying the bottles, the Hennessy's, the this, the that, does, the that, does. Eh? Yeah? You walk out of the club with a bill of 40,000, 50,000 rands. What is the 50,000 rands in one night? 50,000 rand. Do you know what I would do with that kind of money? Today I'm gonna make cock. In other words, I'm gonna make shut. All because you want to impress the girlies. The girlies that are gonna be here. The girlies that are gonna be here. And are going to be back there next weekend. Just not with you. Ooh, I shame. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. <laughs> Another unpopular opinion. Baya Delela Abazali. Abana filter. Abana filter. Okay. She's saying parents are disrespectful. I'm assuming she's saying some parents. Parents are disrespectful. They don't have filter. The female species, they don't have a filter, right? The female species, guess you see, we love them. <laughs> this is true. I think that some parents are mad disrespectful. Some uh, no, no. 
Some parents try to live their lives vicariously through their children. Some parents are very disrespectful, uh, even when they don't need to be. And they'll say things to deliberately hurt um, even their own kids sometimes. So they're not even uh, 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 wanting to hurt someone from from Kokakwa. No, they're wanting to hurt deliberately their own children. Some parents are like that. And it's it's sad. It really, really is sad. They are very, very disrespectful. And sometimes it comes at the hurt and the expense of their children. Because they're mean and they're narcissists and they say horrible things that they know that their children will not appreciate to hear or anything like that. And they don't care a damn. I agree with that one. I'm there with you, sis. No. Another one. You don't have to hop on what your friend is doing just because they're doing well in it. I agree. I agree. But it's not necessarily your place as the friend to then tell your friend, you can't do this. You can't do what? You can't do that. But I agree. I mean, that's what makes people different and all of that. But it's not your place to tell your friend what to do or what not to do or whatever. But if you feel and believe and support your friend and you believe that they can do the absolute most, then support and feel and believe them. But you don't necessarily have to hop on. I agree with this one. I definitely agree with this one. Just because Manju Munganwako, I don't know, she, she, she does breakfast runs and she drives fast bikes and all of that. Now you want to do that? You could die. How about that? The Netflix series from scratch. I'm going I'm, to I'm have to catch her outside. This girl I'm going to have to catch outside. The Netflix series from scratch is overhyped. Yeah. No, if, 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 if that's what you want. If that's what you, if you want to fight me. Come from scratch. Let's go, baby. Two streets away. I give you my address. Let's go. I absolutely loved from scratch. I felt like it was beautiful. It was filled with all the things that me as a romantic, I love. Food, love, the way they communicate with each other, undying love, unconditional love, and this and this. And the actors, Zoe Saldana and, and Mr. Mr. Uh, what was his name in the thing? Oh my God, he's so hot. He's so hot. Oh my God. Zoe's hot. Everybody's hot in that show. It's just amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It broke my heart, but it was well worth the hype. So no, no sister, I'm not here for you. But do, do, you guys who agree, comment down below so that I can know who you are. Fabiani clothes are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is I always mention Fabiani no I think certain certain clothes from Fabiani are okay okay me I didn't say this next one no nah, nah, I didn't say this next one Rihanna cannot sing but she makes good music but she cannot sing I get a to sing no, guys, honestly. Tonight I said I'm gonna get crazy right now. <laughs> is that Chris Brown? Who is that? I don't even know. Ah, oh, Omara. Diamonds in the sky. I'm not like Wally. I'm not like Wally. <laughs> Pop is not as great as people make it out to be. It's not a where, why? Because you're gonna be Caesar. Why would you be so insulting? Why Why would you be so insulting as to say our staple food in this year country? Papa, Uncle Papa is not as amazing. What are you talking? Have you had pop with chakalaka and meat and bright place and 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 but what would you? I mean, uh... 
I mean, I mean, I mean. The coleslaw, the what, what? Have you had papers in seven, in seven uh, uh, when? I. When are you going to when are you going When are you got a you 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 started off right with the Rihanna one. I was just like, I hey, uh, uncle show, uncle show, yeah, uncle show. Maria Papa, you can catch me several streets outside. Ghosting is okay. It's selfish, but sometimes it has to be done. I think I I agree. In some aspects, I don't think. Oh man. Majority of me doesn't agree with ghosting because I feel like it's it's very hurtful to the person you ghost. However, I do agree also in the sense that I do agree also in the sense that um, it's it's sometimes you're you're in a very very toxic space or you're with someone who's really toxic and they've been hurting you and they've changed who you are as a person and all of that sometimes or abusive or whatever. Sometimes you need to get out of there. And, excuse me, the only way you can do it is by ghosting. In that instance, I hear it. But if you're just going to ghost someone who didn't do anything to you, but love you and treat you well and whatever, and not give them the decency to actually say to them that, I, they I have a problem. A lot of gospel music artists don't make new music. Instead, they just recycle old hymns. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. I agree. I absolutely agree. Maybe in the States, you know, with, with, with uh, Maverick music and all the other, you know, you know uh, 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 music songs that we love. It's new songs and whatever. But this side, I agree with you. I agree. It's old hymns. But Abel Taruna. Okay. Anyway, mainstream music has become such a bore. And it's filled with talentless people with connections. Well done. Well done, my sugar puff. Yes, correct. I agree. <laughs> we get that it's cute and it has cute things, but typo? Overpriced, my dear. I <laughs> Why is it my scarabal? My scarabal, I agree with you. I absolutely agree. Typo has awesome things, but it is quite overpriced. Does it mean that I'll stop shopping at Typo? No. Absolutely correct. <laughs> because their stuff is cute, man. Their stuff is just so lovable and so cute. And, and as somebody who loves stationery, oh my gosh, Typo is literally a danger zone for me. Because I can come out of Typo having spent... I don't know, a thousand, a thousand five hundred rand, really? So I try to stay away from typo. They, especially these days, I just walk right past. But it is overpriced, my dear. My Burger King is the ghetto. Oh, why? <laughs> Two streets. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Never that. Never that. Burger King is the game. Have you had chips from Burger King? They're fresh. I didn't have oily. I didn't have the fresh man. Do not demand the chips of Burger King. Do you hear what you're saying? You're being very insulting right now. And I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. You can catch me two streets outside because I don't appreciate what you're saying. Okay? Time doesn't heal. Dealing with the trauma situation heals. Om is better than I'm a piano. Way, way. Yeah. Way. Way. What is better than? What? What? It's better. What? It's better. <laughs> The Yanos have my heart, me. You can say whatever you want to say. Uncle Dem. For me, the Yanos have my heart. And they will have my heart forever and ever. Amen. Um, uh, not all of us like iPhone. Sipka ilaba siyege bandla. Abant me iPhone. I mean, we don't need you to like iPhone. We just know that it's the best. I 
Um, we don't need you to like it, uh, but it is the best, <laughs> my darling. <laughs> I'm sorry, we could be here all day. I'm an Apple user through and through. I've got all Apple products. I love Apple. So here, yeah, this is a fight you will not win with me. So let me just let it be. Let me be peaceful about it. Let me just leave it. Uh, the blesser blessy lifestyle is modern day prostitute. The reason why I will not entertain this here comment is because I have my personal thoughts about prostitution, okay? And not many people willingly, many people who are in circumstances where they or sex workers and selling their bodies to make money uh, did not willingly put themselves in that kind of position. So to say that bless up bless you is modern day prostitution, I don't know. I don't know if I would equate it to that because circumstances are very different um, in the bless up bless you situation. A lot of the time, they just willingly enter Risha into um, a, a bless a blessy situation, or they enter Risha into you know someone's marriage because the person that they're sleeping with has money or whatever. But with 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 sex workers and sex working, I don't know. I'm not inclined to agree with that statement. But I had that is it. Unpopular opinions. I hear your chat. Um, but whew, no, that's a, that's a heavy one, my darling. Thank you so much. That is pretty much it from me. Thank you. That is it from you, actually. Thank you so much for contributing to this version of Unpopular Opinion, the follower subscriber edition, my darling, my darling. I'm going to be doing a lot more Unpopular Opinions, and I would love your contribution on them. So please do follow me on Instagram if you want to contribute, because I want to do an Unpopular Opinion Friendship Edition next so please make sure you follow me on instagram if you want to throw in your two cents about friendships as well and um unpopular opinions rather and yeah again thank you so much for choosing me over and over again i appreciate you i appreciate um you being here every single day i appreciate you very very much thank you so much don't forget to subscribe let's get this video to a thousand likes and i'll see you in the next video until then cheers Sayonara.